Kids, today your mother and I are going out on a date at a steakhouse since today is our 15th wedding anniversary, so we're going to leave you guys with a babysitter. But dad, who will be the babysitter? Wanza the Beyonder 2K5. No 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 I want Dora to babysit me. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Are you stupid? She's only nine years old. She has to be sixteen to babysit you. Wanzi is going to babysit you whether you like it or not. Alright fine. I'll deal with it. That's my girl. Anyways, he will be here any minute, we will go when he arrives, and will be back at 11.30 p.m. But if one of you misbehaves, you will be grounded. Hey there Wanzi, come in. Hi Kalo, Rosie and Daisy, I'm here to babysit you guys. No. I don't want you to babysit us. I want a different babysitter. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R See you in seven hours. I am going to watch some TV. Call me if you need anything. I am going to play some Fortnite. I will go to my room and have a nap. Well, I have nothing to do right now. I am so bored. What can I do to spice things up? I know. Maybe I can play a prank on Kaylee by locking him in the basement for a long time. This will be perfect. Hi 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 hi. What are you doing, step bro? First of all, I am not your step bro. I am your real brother. See? Let me see that. Oh, but it was just a joke. Second. I'm playing Fortnite, you'll make me lose in a second, third, you can't be in my room without permission, now can you please go? Okay, but before I go, can I at least show you something? Alright, fine, just show me already. Okay, come downstairs with me. Rosie. Where are you even taking me anyways? Well, um, you'll see. The basement? Well, yes, but guess what? There is a lot of V-Bucks cards down there. Really? I'm going in there right now. Ha ha, he was so stupid to know there wasn't any V-Bucks cards down there. Now I can enjoy some time to myself. Thank you for taking me out for dinner, Mom. You're welcome, Jacob. Wow, this food is delicious. I agree. I wonder how the kids are doing at home. Well, I'm still thinking about Rosie. She might be doing something bad again. Well, I'm kinda nervous that she might do something to Wanzi, Kalo, or Daisy. I'm still thinking that she's up to no good. If she does something bad one more time, I will install security cameras around the house so that we can know when she causes trouble. Okay, let's not worry about her for now. That's strange. I cannot see any V-Bucks cards down here. I'll go back upstairs and play Fortnite. Why isn't the door opening? Oh my god. I'm locked in the basement. Help me. Since I'm locked in here, 
I can't continue my game, also. I'm feeling hungry, I will see if there's any snacks in here. A spider. Uh, 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 uh. That scared me. What do I do now? I don't want to be in here forever. Many unbearable hours later. Man, it's been four hours and I'm starving. I didn't eat anything for hours. I wish I was out of here. Kalo, it's time for dinner. I called you five times but you did not come. I will search around the house. <coughs> 15 minutes later. I wonder where's Kalo. I've searched around the house but I can't find him. I bet Rosie has something to do with this. Rosie. Get over here right this instant. What is it? Do you know where is Kalo? Because I searched around the house but I could not find him anywhere? Um, no, I honestly don't know where he is. Stop with your lies. I know you had something to do with it. So tell me where he is right now. Alright, fine, I locked him in the basement. How could you lock your own brother in the basement? I know that he's been in there for hours and he might be starving by now. Tell me where the key is right now. Well, um, I got the key, you can't catch me. Hey. Get over here right now. Ha ha, you can't catch me. You will never get the key. Give me the key right now. Darn it. I lost her. I will call Boris and Doris right now. Meanwhile. Man, that dinner was so good. I agree with you, Boris. Let's go home and see how the kids and Wendy are doing. Hello? Hey Doris. It's me Wanzi. I just want to tell you that Rosie was a maniac while you guys were gone. What did she do? Well, you guys are not gonna believe this, but, Rosie locked Kalo in the basement for hours and he didn't eat for 8 hours. She even hid the key away from me, can you guys come home? Oh shit. Meanwhile... Wow! I never knew you can bust doors like that, but thank God you're here. Rosie has been a disappointment while you guys were gone. Don't worry. I'll get Rosie to come by using the power of screaming. Rosie! Get over here right now before I throw you out the window! What is it? Did you lock Caleb in the basement? Um, 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 yes I did. How could you lock your own big brother in the basement? You're lucky we didn't call the police on you because you nearly starved to death. How dare you? Give me the key right now before I will slap you so hard that you will disappear in 0.01 seconds. Alright fine, here's the key. Um, guys, what's going on here? Um, nothing Daisy, you can go upstairs and play in your room if you want. Um, okay I guess. Now I will get Kalo out of the basement. Dad, you saved me. Yep, let's go ground Rosie. <laughs> Rosie the disgrace to the family. How dare you lock Caleb in the basement? You do realize that he nearly starved because he hasn't eaten for nearly 10 hours. What the hell is wrong with you? 
You are so lucky we didn't call the police to take you to prison. That's so what? You're grounded 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 for a month. Go to your room now. And don't you even dare come out of your room until your grounding time is over. Shut up. You're gonna wake up the neighbors because of your stupid annoying foolish crying. Rosie steals her dad's car and gets spanked and gets grounded. Uh, what time is it? Oh shoot. It's 9.45 a.m. Doris. Wake up. We gotta have breakfast. I have a really important meeting at 11.30 a.m. in my office. Okay. I'll make breakfast for you and the kids. There. I finished. Now I will call the kids downstairs. Kids. Wake up. Breakfast is ready. Yay. Yay. Kids. We're having bacon and eggs for breakfast. Yay. Bacon and eggs. My favorite. Let's eat now. So Boris, your meeting starts in an hour, so you have to have lunch when your meeting is over. Okay, Doris. Ugh! Yeah. This bacon isn't cooked enough. I'll try the egg instead. Oh my god. This egg is runny. Get me a new breakfast now. Rosie, get off the chair right now. And runny eggs aren't a bad thing. You're being dramatic. I want a new breakfast, I want a new breakfast, I want a new breakfast now. I said Eat your goddamn bre e e k f a s s s s s s s s t Oh, you know what? Take this. What the heck, Rosie? How dare you throw your breakfast at me? Now the plate broke and I have to clean the mess thanks to you. That's it. You're grounded 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 for a week. Go to your room right freaking now you stupid idiotic brat. What the... Oh, I hate you so much dad. Man, I can't believe I got grounded for misbehaving in the kitchen 30 minutes ago. Now I can't eat for a few hours, what should I do? I know, I can steal my dad's car to go to the convenience store to buy candy. Hi 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 ha. Uh, what was that? I must have been imagining things. I will continue to watch sports and then I will go to the meeting in 30 minutes. Now how do I drive this thing? I will look at a tutorial on Beyond Tube on how to drive a car. I think that'll be good. Jason drives 1994 here, and today, I will teach you how to drive a car. This Meanwhile. Okay, now I know how to drive.
Let's drive this thing to the convenience store. What's that noise? I have to go check. Ha ha, now we're finally moving. Oh god, my car. Ha ha, bye dad. See you in 15 minutes. Hey, get the hell over here right now. You are not allowed to drive a car. I am gonna put a stop to this. I'm calling an Uber. Hello? Is this Uber? Take me to the Beyond Convenience Store. I'm Boris Anderson, and I'm at 15 Beyond City Avenue. Okay, you're coming now? Bye. <laughs> 15 minutes later. Excuse me little girl, how old are you? You need a parent with you to buy something in this shop. I am 8 years old, and I can pay for- Um, hello, friend, how is your day going? Rosie, why the f did you steal my car? What did you need to go to the convenience store for? Well, since the breakfast was bad, I wanted to go to the convenience store to buy some candy. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Come here now. Ow 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 it hurts it hurts it hurts it hurts it hurts no 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 Let's go home you underaged brat. Dad, I'm sorry for what I've done. Can I at least have dinner when we get home? If you don't keep your mouth shut, I won't give you dinner, and what you've done was terrible. I had to cancel the goddamn meeting because of you. <coughs> 15 minutes later. Um, Boris, what happened? Let me guess, Rosie is doing her usual crap. Am I right? Yes, as a matter of fact, she drove my car to go to a convenience store to buy candy. So guys, you have to leave the room because I will scream at Rosie. Okay. Rosie the troublemaking cry baby freak. How dare you steal my car to drive to the convenience store to buy candy. You know that you have to be 16 to drive. You are 8 years old for Jesus' sake. You are underage to drive. Also, I had to cancel my goddamn meeting because of this situation. That's it. You're grounded, grounded, grounded for 3 weeks. Go to your disgusting room now. I hate you so much, Dad. I wish you would leave forever. Don't you dare speak crap about me. Or else you are not having dinner. Kids, today we are flying to Brazil for a holiday, the flight is 5 hours and 5 strikes, and I want you guys to be on your best behavior or you're grounded. Yay! I can't wait to go swimming. Me too. Ugh. No. I hate plane trips. It's so boring. Rosie, we are going to Brazil if you like it or not. Besides, there are a lot of fun things there, like swimming, playing games, relaxing, and much more, so deal with it. Pack your suitcases guys, we're going in a minute. Five minutes later. Good. Now let's get in the car or else we will miss the flight. Fifteen minutes later.
Welcome to Vian City Airport. How may I help you? I would like to buy five tickets to Brazil, please. Here are your tickets. Place your baggage. Goodbye. And enjoy your flight. I will have some pork chops. Can I have some milk? Can I have some Pringles? Can I have McDonald's? No. Why not? McDonald's isn't on the plane. How about you can have some pasta and a Fanda instead? I want McDonald's! I want McDonald's! I want McDonald's and that's final! Rosie. Shut up. How dare you throw a tantrum over no McDonald's on the plane? You know that McDonald's isn't on planes, it's a building, and you disturbed everyone on the plane and now they are looking at us. That's it. You got your first strike. Four more to go and then you're grounded. Mom, can I go to the bathroom? Yes you can. Instead of going to the bathroom. I will sneak into first class when someone is not looking. Ma'am, first class is the best. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'm going to take that man's spot. Excuse me, little girl. This is my seat. No. This is mine. Go away. Oh. You know what? I will carry you to your parents. No, 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 no. Please don't. They are going to scream at me. Rosie, how dare you sneak into first class and take that man's seat? That's it. You have your second strike. Three more to go and then you're grounded. So, what would you guys like to eat? My husband would like some pork chops, and my 14-year-old son Kayla wants Pringles, and my daughter that's sitting on my lap would like some milk. Also, can I have, um... <sighs> Alright, can I have one packet of popcorn? Sure. Here is your food. Enjoy your flight. to airdrop people on the plane. Hey, who airdropped me this picture? What the? Who airdropped me a hot dog? Hey, who airdropped me this picture? Hey, who sent me a hot dog? Rosie, did you airdrop people on the plane including me? I got airdropped as well. The text said Rosie Anderson airdropped you something, so I think it was her. Rosie, is this true? Um, 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 yes I did. Oh my g g g o o o o o o o o o o o o o o d d d. Rosie, how dare you airdrop people on the plane? You know that prank was not funny at all. That's it. You got your third strike. Two more to go, and then you're grounded. I am going to throw Kalu off the plane. No, please don't. Ah, please help me. Yay, he's gone. I <laughs> Rosie, how dare you throw Kalu off the plane? You know that you can't throw people off planes. That's it. You got your fourth strike. One more to go and then you're grounded. Beyond logic. Teleport Kalu back into the plane. Thanks for saving me, Dad. 
You're welcome. I am going to drive the plane. Hey, mister. Get out of my way. Why? Oh no. What's going on? Who's driving the plane recklessly? This is so much fun. Rosie, I can't believe you drove the plane. You know you have to be a grown-up to drive the plane. That's it. You have your fifth and final strike. That's it. You are grounded, grounded, grounded for the rest of the vacation. Get back to your seat now. Now sit here for the rest of the flight after what you did. Many unbearable hours later. Hello. Welcome to Brazil Tell. How may I help you? I would like a room key, please. Okay, here's your room key. Your room is number 402 on the fourth floor. All right, everyone. Let's go out for dinner at a fancy restaurant. Oh, no, you don't. You are not coming with us because you are grounded. Go to bed now. Wah, a a a a a a a I regret misbehaving. Do I care about that? Bye, Rosie. Rosie, wake up. It's time to go to school. No, I'm not going to that hellhole today. I'd rather stay home. Rosie, you do realize that today is a Monday, right? So you have to go to school. Nope. Never. Fine. If you don't get out of bed, I will do it myself. No, 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 no. Please don't. I'll do anything. Ah. Wow. Now eat your breakfast. No. Oh, you know what? Fine, I'll do it myself. Here comes the airplane. Done. Now you will brush your teeth. Nope. Now. All right, fine. Uh. I've done it. Thank you. Now let's get in the car. No, I'm not going to school. Screw you, Dad. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R Fine. If you are not going, then I will carry you there. No. Let me go. That's it. Take this. Stop hitting me. Fucking dog. Hvad er ah? Er no school day? Di no school day? Di no school day? Di hvad er ah? Rosie, you have to go to school to learn new stuff and get your diploma, not just relax in the house all day. Now stop crying like an 86-year-old woman, or I will turn you into one. Twenty minutes later. All right, class. We will now take attendance. Wait, Miss Martin. I'm here. What did I miss? Rosie. This is the fourth time you've been late this week. What the hell were you even doing to be this late? Huh? I'm sorry, Miss Martin. I was wasting seven minutes because I refused that I didn't want to be here. That is no excuse for being this late. If you listened to your dad, none of this would have happened. 
Yeah, I agree with Miss Martin. So next time, don't waste time to be late again. Now sit down. All right, class. Let's begin this lesson. All right, I will give you guys your tests now. Here. Now work on it. Miss Martin, why are we doing geography? You know I suck at geography. Well, maybe if you focus on the test and not other stuff, you wouldn't suck at this. Just focus already. I am not doing geography and that's final. Rosie, stop acting like an immature piece of shit and do your goddamn lesson now. How about all of you just shut the living hell up? Excuse me? Hey, I do not tolerate this behavior in my class. You know what? I've had enough of you. Go outside and think about what you did. Now. Fine. I hated being with all of you anyways. Screw you all. Um, Rosie, why are you mad? It's because Miss Martin kicked me out of the class when I wanted to do another subject. Like seriously, she is the worst teacher that I could ever have. Also, my dad is also the worst. He forced me to get out of bed so that I could go to school. And then, I started hitting him and he called me a dog because I hit people. Is my dad dumb or something? Dogs don't hit, they bite. I wish I could have bitten my dad's arm. Honestly, I feel so bad for you Rosie. I really want to get revenge on Miss Martin. I'll figure something out. Okay, Rosie. Ooh, I found some matches. I wonder what I can do with them. Yes, that is exactly what I was looking for. Since I have some matches and a gasoline can, I think I know what to do. I can burn down the school so that I don't have to go to school anymore. That is the best thing I've ever thought of. Ha 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 ha. So now I have to wait until my math class starts. Meanwhile. Alright, can someone answer this question? Yes, Vaishal? The answer is 9.09090909091, miss. That's correct. Now's my chance. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, but be quick. Thank you so much. Now that I'm outside, it's time to set the school on fire. Ha ha! That should teach them a lesson. Oh my god! Why is the fire alarm going off? I'll check outside. Holy shit! The school is on fire. I must warn everybody in this school. Guys, the school is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. Wait a minute. Did you just say the school is on fire? Yes. Because I saw fire in the hallway and a gap. <coughs> Let's all get out of here. You guys exit the building while I get the others to evacuate. Attention everyone. The school is on fire. We need to evacuate immediately. Grab all of the stuff you need and exit the building before the fire reaches the power generator and the building will explode. Oh no. Let's get out of here. Oh no, I think the school will explode any minute! What the fuck? Jesus Christ. The school exploded and now there is nothing left but ashes. Ha ha ha, that was so funny that the school exploded. Um, hello, friends. How is your day going? You dumbass, how dare you burn down the school? 
You do realize that you committed arson, right? Yeah, not only you burned the entire building, but you're also going to pay the price for the damages, which will be really expensive. That's it. I'm calling 911. Yeah, Rosie. This is bullshit. I can't believe you would do such a thing. Yeah, I agree with everyone else. You are a nuisance to society. I am so done with you. Hello, this is 911. What's your emergency? I need police and firefighters immediately. An eight year old girl named Rosie burned down Beyond City School, and then the school exploded. Don't worry, we'll be on our way. <laughs> Fifteen minutes later. Meanwhile, Boris, get over here right now. Something happened on the news. What is it? Hey guys, this is GNN News. And today, an eight year old girl named Rosie burned down Vian City School. And if her parents are watching this, you have to pay $3 million to pay for the damage. Oh my god, that bitch has done it again. She is so busted. minutes later oh you're fucked up now young lady you are under arrest for 10 years for committing arson get your ass in the car right now Wait guys, I also got proof of what happened. Look at this. Now that I'm outside, it's time to set the school on fire. Ha ha, that should teach them a lesson. Great. Now we have more evidence. Man, I can't believe I'm in jail for burning down Vion City School. I shouldn't have done that. Rosie, you have some visitors who want to see you. Oh, oh. Rosie. We can't fucking believe that you burned down Vion City School. You are a disgrace to the family. Now we have to pay three million dollars for the damages. That's so it. You're grounded 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 after your jail sentence is over which is in ten years. Go to sleep. Right now. So Boris, today is Kalo's 14th birthday, so what are we going to do today? I don't know, it's his birthday, after all, it's his decision. Guys, today's my 14th birthday. Happy birthday Kalo. So what do you want to do for your birthday? I want to go to Chuck E. Cheese's for my birthday. Okay, I will wake up Rosie. With this. Ha 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 ha, that'll wake her up for sure. Okay, I will use the air horn now. Seriously dad, what the heck is wrong with you? Ha 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 That was so funny. That was not funny. Anyways, do you know what day it is? Um, no. Oh my god, Rosie, I told you last night that it would be Kalu's 14th birthday today. Oh shoot. I forgot to buy a present for him. It's okay Rosie, you can write a card for him. Anyways, let's go downstairs now. 
Ugh. Fine. So, what are we going to do today? Caleb wants to go to Chuck E. Cheese's to celebrate his birthday there, but if you misbehave, you'll be grounded for a longer period of time. Understood? I know I know, I'll behave. That's my girl. Anyways, let's get in the car. Meanwhile... Hello, welcome to Chuck E. Cheese's. How may I help you? I would like a sausage pizza with a Mountain Dew. And today's our son's 14th birthday. So can we get a birthday cake as well? Yes, what else would you like? Can I get a Sprite with a Hawaiian pizza? Can I get a cheese pizza with some water? And can I get a pepperoni pizza with a Pepsi? Okay, that will be $30.95. Here's the money. Thanks, your food will be ready in 20 minutes. 20 minutes later. Kids, food is here. Yay. Okay. First we're going to sing happy birthday to Kalu, and then he'll open the presents. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you, happy, happy birthday to you, happy, happy birthday, birthday dear Kalu, happy birthday, happy birthday to, you. to you. Blow out the candles. No, Kalu is the worst brother ever. Let me tell you why. He gets me in trouble all the time. And he cries like a baby. That's it. Take this. I Rosie, how dare you throw the cake at Kalu? You just made him cry. You ruined his 14th birthday. That's it. You're going to be grounded when we get home. You're grounded for four weeks. Now go to your room, you heartless brat. I can't believe Rosie ruined my birthday. I'm so sad right now. It's going to be okay, Kalo. Your mean sister is in her room now. Next time she won't be coming with us. Rosie misbehaves at Peter Piper Pizza and gets grounded. So bored. There's nothing to play on my tablet. Also, I'm feeling kinda hungry. What should I do? I know. I will ask my dad if we can have Peter Piper pizza for lunch. Dad. What is it, Rosie? Can we go to Peter Piper Pizza for lunch? No. Why not? Because, you're still grounded after ruining Kalu's 14th birthday two weeks ago. Besides, we already have food at home. Doris can cook us something for lunch. I'm going to make lunch for the kids. Boris. We don't have any food in the fridge. Can we go to Peter Piper Pizza for lunch? Did you hear that Rosie? Your mom said we can go to Peter Piper Pizza since there's no food in the fridge. But if you dare misbehave like you always do, I will throw you in the pool. Do I make myself clear? I know I know, you say this crap all the time. Good. Let's go now, Kalu. Come downstairs, we're going to Peter Piper Pizza for lunch. Yay. I can't wait to go to Peter Piper Pizza. Let's get in the car. <laughs> 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 
15 minutes later. Hey there. Welcome to Peter Piper Pizza. How can I help you with today? I would like a Hawaiian pizza with a bottle of water. I would like a sausage pizza with a bottle of Pepsi. I would like a cheese pizza with a Coke. And I would like a pepperoni pizza with some water. I'm sorry little girl, but we ran out of pepperoni. How about you can have a cheese pizza instead? No! I want a pepperoni pizza! Give me one right now! Rosie, stop causing a scene in front of everyone. You can either have a cheese pizza, or you get nothing at all. You know what? That's it! I'm destroying this crappy restaurant! Oh my god. Rosie freaking Anderson. How dare you misbehave and destroy Peter Piper pizza. You know that you have to try new stuff instead of acting like a three year old. You are eight years old. You are a woman child. Let's go home and watch the news. I'll turn on the TV. Hey guys, this is GNN News. Today we will talk about an 8-year-old crybaby destroyed Peter Piper Pizza, the news reporter will talk about it. As you can see, we are at Peter Piper Pizza, two people were injured, and the building is on fire, so the manager wants to say something. I was minding my own business until I heard yelling outside the office, I decided to check the cameras, and I saw a girl named Rosie throwing a fit over not getting what she wants, and then she destroyed the restaurant. And Rosie's family, you have to pay 10 million dollars for the damages, if you don't do it by next week, you guys will be sentenced to jail for life. Thanks for telling us what really happened, and that's the end of it, see you guys tomorrow. God damn it Rosie. Now we have to pay 10 million dollars thanks to you. We don't have that kind of money. That's it. You're grounded for 3 weeks. Go upstairs to your disgusting room and never come out until 3 weeks is over. Good riddance to that disgrace to the family. Hey guard, just stop shouting at this woman, she is innocent. Man, I can't believe death of yonder 2 Katen is still making grounded videos out of me. I hate them so much. He's making me look bad on the internet. Ugh. I wish he had a different career rather than making grounded videos out of troublemakers, especially me. But wait. I know what to do. I can join his Discord server and cause some trouble in it. Hi 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 ha. But first, I need to ask my dad. Dad, is it okay if I can get a Discord account? Because I want to join a Discord server. Absolutely not. You are way too young to use Discord. You are current 8 years old, so you need to wait 5 more years to use it. Oh my god. You are so unfair. And I don't really care. I am your father after all. Ugh. I can't believe my dad prevented me from getting Discord. Oh, wait a second. I got an idea. I can use Discord behind his back so I can join his server. Hi 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 hi.
Okay, now I have to read the server rules. Five minutes later. There, now that I've read the server rules, I will now click the check mark to gain more access to the server. So now I will chat in the server. Oh. My. God. I can't believe Jet gave me a warning. That's it. I will send a mean message to him for giving me a warning. Bloody hell. Rosie. Calm the hell down already. You are making a loud disturbance here, so keep your mouth shut right this instant. Can't believe this is happening to me right now.
while. Okay, I'm back from having lunch. And I got an email. I wonder what it's... Oh my god. What the hell is that kid's problem? Rosie. What is going on here? Wait, what is that on your computer? Wait, it's not what it looks like. Don't lie to me. I see that you got a Discord account behind my back. How dare you? That's it, young lady. You are grounded for a week. Well, seems like I learned another lesson I guess. Kids, today we are going to the mall to have some family time. Since Rosie misbehaved with a babysitter recently, we have no choice but to take her with us. Yeah! No 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 not the mall, I hate it. G-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-R-
Oh my freaking 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 god. Rosie. How dare you take a bite out of that goddamn chocolate. Now we have to pay for it thanks to you. That's it, you got your second strike. Three more to go and then you're grounded. Okay, let's go shopping for clothes since we don't have that much clothes. Wow. This dress looks cute, I will try it on. Five minutes later. How do I look? Wow, you look stunning. Aw, oh, thank you Boris. No problem. Wow, those shoes look nice. I will ask my dad to buy them. Dad, can I get these shoes? No, we have enough at home. Come on, please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Please. No. Oh, you know what? Since you won't get me the shoes, take this. Oh, that hurts so freaking much. Rosie, how dare you slap me just for me refusing to buy those shoes for you. You know that you have enough at home you spoiled brat. That's it. You got your third strike. Two more to go and then you're grounded. Okay, that'll be $300. Here's the money. Thanks. Have a nice day. Rosie. Um, sorry. I accidentally snuck the shoes into the bag. What have I told you already? I said no, and, oh, but then you decided to disobey me. That's it. You get your fourth strike. One more to go and then you're grounded. Don't ruin the fun. Hey Caillou, come with me. I have a surprise for you. Why? I don't trust you. There's a possibility that you'll do something bad again, so no. Come on, please. Fine. Um, where is the surprise? Oh, uh, it's right oh, here. Oh fuck. Uh, uh. What's that sound? We have to go check. Holy shit. Kalu, what the hell happened to you? Dad, take me to the hospital. Now. It hurts so bad. I think I know who the culprit was. Rosie. Rosie, get over here right now you son of a bi- I'm awake, what happened? Well, apparently, Rosie pushed you off the second floor, and that caused you to be in the hospital. Oh my god. Rosie is a devil. I wish I lived in a timeline where she didn't exist. I'm sick of her misbehaving all the time, but this went too far. I can't believe I'm stuck with this maniac. Well, we can't do anything about it. Maybe our parents were right, we should stay away from Rosie for a little bit. By the way, Rosie. You got your fifth and final strike, so that means you'll be grounded when we get home. You will get the screaming of a lifetime, so deal with it. You can't undo of what you did. 20 minutes later. Oh, Jesus Christ. Rosie, how dare you get five strikes at the mall? You've ruined their day thanks to you. You went too far on the final strike. How dare you? That's so I T T T T T T T T T T T. You're grounded, grounded, grounded for seven months. Go weep like a motor car in your room. Right. Now. And don't you dare come out until seven months is over.